So we're going to discuss um, SimLab at Tentec Aero. This is a success story on our usage. So first, we're going to introduce a company a little bit and then discuss how SimLab came to a company and what we did with it and what we plan on doing with it later. Uh, first introduction, I'm the founder and director of Tentec Aero. I come from the aerospace industry, both in Europe in the U.S. Uh, with a doctorate in applied math and continuum mechanics. Uh, most of my work in uh, research was done in uh, vibration controls in structural dynamics. Uh, did that in the military, Airbus, and um, later on the little uh, software company uh, called SDRC. <laughs> uh, we used to compete a lot with, uh, with Altair at the time. Um, then mostly structural dynamics, again, as an engineer and applications engineers, focusing usually on, on simulation. Uh, some of the programs in Europe and the US, a lot of ma major programs like the Ion 5 launcher or some of the, uh, the F-35 or, or the, uh, the JPL rovers. Our company, uh, Tentec Aerospace and Defense at Nashua, New Hampshire, uh, it's an ITAR registered company and we're subject matter experts in defense electronics. So we do a lot of um, structural dynamics, durability, thermal management, simulation. So we help uh, qualify uh, military programs and products um, ahead of time before, uh, before manufacturing. We also are manufacturing prototyping house, ITAR registered again, um, to be able to do Things like uh, build your own 3D printed products or do integration and, uh, and testing of, of payloads in, in UAV systems and quadcopters. And, and also we redesigned some of the, um, some of the classic military products with uh, additive manufacturing in mind. So lots of metal printing that we don't do ourselves, but we, we actually support, uh, you know, the manufacturing processes of that. Uh, our engineering workflow on the uh, engineering services side, so the, the simulation side is a pretty classic. Uh, CAD to uh, meshing tool to solution to post-processing, uh, standard application. One of the things that, that makes us a little bit different is we, we usually deal with very large assemblies, 2,000 parts or more. Uh, we create very high fidelity models, uh, which means we do not oversimplify models. We keep a lot of details, uh, which allows us to, to get more insight on the structure itself. Uh, consequently, your models are usually in the 20 to 30 or plus million degrees of freedom at 20 million degrees of freedom is, is kind of a small model in your office. We look at lots of load cases being, you know, um, rugged environment type of military or space. And we have to deal with large, large data sets. Uh, the more load cases, the more data we have to look at. Uh, some examples of our models. Again, the small model in the middle is already 16 million degrees of freedom. Uh, the bigger models on the structural, so all those are structural dynamics usually uh, in the 40, 30 million degrees of freedom. And of course, when you start doing CFD and thermal, we're 10x or 20x that in, in the grid. So 300, 500 million, we, we, we're close to a billion uh, on a specific program there. Uh, so big models. Uh, so how do, did we... Um, Deal with SimLab. Well, SimLab started as an evaluation in 2022. Uh, we were fairly unhappy with one of our uh, major vendor, MSC. Uh, and, and again, we had used MSC Nastrand for decades and MSC Apex for five, six years as the center of our pre and post processing for structural dynamics. We have built hundreds of models. We have large models. And, and it started to um, behave erratically and started to, to be very slow, very unstable in, in the 2021, late 2021 to the entire 2022. And we kind of suffered through it a little bit. And eventually, you know, this, we, we had to do something. So we dealt with True Insight. We discussed with True Insight and uh, organized a trial with the focus on shock and vibration. And, uh, and this is kind of 
what we went into. Um, so the benchmarking was simple. Can you do as well, at least, as what we have now? It's <laughs> pretty standard. Uh, um, there was a fair, you know, fair trial. I want to see how well this product does for my everyday job. If it does at least as well, I'm already happy. And while it turned out, it did a whole lot better than as well in many, many areas. Um, first of all, the UI is, is a pleasure to use and that makes a big difference for our users. Uh, the most pleasant application we have is really similar in terms of looks. And when something looks good and behaves nicely and the UI is pleasant to look at, you want to use it more. It's that simple. Um, and now we have seen a lot more functionality than we expected uh, in terms of, for instance, top-down meshing, So, which is kind of the reverse of what we used to do. Uh, top-down meshing, you use a mesh to mesh. So you kind of move elements and nodes around. And I know for you Altair people, it's pretty standard. It's, it's, it's a given. For us, it's not. And, and it's kind of refreshing and it's interesting. And it's, it's kind of a shift in our philosophy a little bit of, of how we approach a model. And it's not a bad one. It's, we have more flexibility. And, you know, another thing that we looked at is the solutions that were accessible. Uh, random vibe, sign, all this, we can do it directly in SimLab. Was not the case in Apex on Astron. Lots of edit, manual editing and, and juggling applications. Well, we don't have this anymore with SimLab. It's all in one, if you want, mostly. Um, and, and some great automation tools. BGA creation is one big thing for us that, that you know, is pretty much a three, five clicks in SimLab replaces three, four days of uh, suffering, meshing, node uh, moving and all that in, in, in Apex. So that this was a, this was a big one. Uh, so a few months later, we decided, hey, you know what? We're going to use SimLab. Uh, every new program, SimLab is a replacement for MSC Apex and MSC Nastra. Uh, there is no, no complaint or no user base. Uh, they are very happy that, that this happened. And uh, they, they kind of look at, at SimLab as a, as a savior compared to the suffering that they had to go through in the, the last year of us using MSC Apex. So new programs all done in, in SimLab. Uh, legacy data, we get tons of it. We got hundreds of models, thousands of models, really, and we can't just burn them. We can't forget them, and we want to reuse them, some of them, or at the minimum be able to bring them back to life if one of our customers asks for it, which happens all the time. Uh, so this was actually a, another pleasant surprise is we managed to bring majority of our data in into SimLab from MSC Nastron. Uh, other benefits is, well, we can reuse the FAM and change the FAM now. We can remesh the uh, the model. Uh, we can modify it, which was not something we, we plan on doing, but now we can do that. Uh, then the H3D format came along, and this is a better uh, better format, apparently, for even standard viewers or external viewers than, than OP2. Uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. We didn't plan on that either. Uh, to us, OP2 has been the standard for uh, for decades. Uh, and since we had SimLab, obviously we had OptiStruct and we started looking at the solution time and, you know, some of our models versus OptiStruct and Nastron. And it turns out that OptiStruct is quite faster than Nastron for many things. So that was, that was another side benefit. Um, so as far as what we've done with it, and again, the six months that we've been using it, so we have... All of our current programs, we switched in the middle. We got the uh, we got the let's live dangerously approach. Yeah, let's switch in the middle, and let's see how how it goes. And the only thing we had to recreate is glue joints, really. And and it's partially MSC's fault. Their glue joint is a little strange the way they do it. Um, but we recreated that. That, that. that took minutes. Now, the benefit that we got from being able to reuse, refine, change the quality of our meshes, and also the fact that OptiStruct performed a little faster, we actually, even though we, we stepped in the middle of the, the program and switched tools, we still were able to actually gain productivity, despite the kind of the, the track back of, of recreating uh, data. 
Everything new that we, we do as far as structural analysis is now done in SimLab. Uh, MSC has been completely disconnected from this. And, and we're starting looking at other solvers like AccuSolve, ElectroFlow for, for certain, uh, certain things that are already in SimLab, so we might as well use that too. Um, this is really, I mean, this, this is one of the, uh, the, the big uh, appeals of, of SimLab is the fact that the solutions are in there. So the pre-processing and post-processing are done in a single tool. So you have your CAD, mo CAD model that you bring in, you create a structural dynamics model, you create a, a thermal model, you create a uh, fluid model. This happens a lot to us, actually. So this is, this is really nice that we're able to do that in a single UI with a single model. Uh, the electronics manufacturing process is another thing that we started looking into, the nonlinear um, solver. Very, very good, high performance. Uh, the board level, ECAD import capabilities is, is something that's really, really good too. Being able to bring a electronics or electrical model, having all the traces, all the VS from the boards, the, the, the material properties, the, uh, the thermal connectivities calculated automatically, all this is invaluable to us. And again, you know, liquid cooling and aerodynamics, AccuSol brings a lot of, of good stuff to that. Uh, we need a lot of this liquid cooling. We need to calculate the liquid cooling path in, in those uh, defense electronics very accurately. Uh, the pressure drop is very important to be calculated properly. In aerodynamics, same thing. In the integrations of UAVs, we, we use AccuSolve now to, to look at the interaction between the propellers and the, the, the sensors that are usually on the mast above the... Um, the, the, the propellers. So we need to make sure we don't disrupt the measurements by, you know, typically if we measure wind, we don't really want the, uh, the, the propellers to be creating a disruption there. So that's, that's, we make sure to size everything properly by looking at, at the, this, this kind of uh, stuff. Uh, so our future, uh, we're going to do continue um, deploy SimLab, es essentially get more, uh, more tokens to do more things with it, uh, use more cores, use more solutions. Um, you know, the OptiStruct solver is already running there on, on our Linux uh, server, but we want to move uh, some of our workstations to Linux too. This is kind of a unique thing that, that Altair has, that the, uh, the applications are fully functional on Linux. Most of the vendors have a quarter or not even uh, of, of the applications on Linux or some of them just a solver on, or, or a window to the solver. And that's not even a pre and post processing tool. And, and we want to look at, at the same time, uh, increasing our, our ability to, to provide analysis to our customers. Our industry is very, very focused on EMI. Um, yeah, the radar systems don't want to interact with the uh, you know image processing system and, and disrupt the, the whole airplane. You know, this is the kind of uh, EMI we're talking about there, that looking at uh, is my radar unit going to disrupt everything around it or not? So that's, and how do we mit mitigate that? So that's that's what FACO is going to take, um, take a center stage for that. Uh, so finally, uh, conclusion, uh, we've been a very, very satisfied customer. Altair has done um, a very good job at keeping us happy, keeping us interested, listening to us, and, um, you know, as far as, um, as we see, the, this, this whole um, token system works very well for us. Whenever we want to try something new or there's, there's a marketplace out there, there's a tool. There's enough for that. Really, that's, that's kind of um, the, 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 uh, the point of the marketplace. If you want to do um, vibroacoustics? Oh, well, go on the marketplace, get that. And by the way, you already have the tokens. So... It's it's a perfect perfect match for us for what we want to do and and you know that it has helped us and I'm going to make Altair very happy. We have uh, not renewed our MSC software um, licenses. We are completely moved away from uh, from MSC and have replaced it with SimLab and Optistruct and you know all the other tools. And based on the evolution of SimLab that we've seen in the last six months, I'm really excited about what's coming in the next two three years. Uh, this product is evolving very rapidly, even on point release from point two to point three. There's a huge amount of functionality that, that got brought in. So I can only imagine major releases, how, how the improvements are going to come along. 
Uh, some of our contact information, again, where we are open to discussing mesmine ashtrin or the replacement, uh, or if you want some, you know, discuss some engineering services, manufacturing services, uh, this is my my contact information there.